So we're about to do something that I have not done in a very, very long time. There's only one, there's only one. It's only one, just only one, just love and happiness, beauty and holiness. Hey guys, it's Jess, welcome back to my channel. And we are in the bathroom, so you know what that means. We're doing a hair video, you guys. So I honestly, <laughs> I might regret this. I do have a few disclaimers to make before we get started. So as most of you know, I did straighten my hair, I, or let's start over. I cut my hair into a bob in I think October. It's December now and I've straightened my hair like five times since then. So like I said on my Instagram story, if you're trying to see some curls, a nice curly bob, please reduce your expectations to zero. I can't promise too much. now. I do have some heat damage and I was fully aware that that was going to be the case because I decided I was gonna be a straight natural. Is that what they call it, a straight natural? Like my hair is still natural, I don't have any chemicals in it, but I wear it straight majority of the time. I'd say about 75% of the time in the past three months, two months, whatever, I've been wearing my hair straight. So am I afraid of heat damage right now? No, because the, the big plan is to big chop again in like another six months, but I'm enjoying wearing my hair straight right now. Do I miss my curl? I'm just gonna get all this stuff out of the way. Do I miss my curls? Yes, I definitely do. But the curls that I had this past year were not my normal curls. I was gonna have to big chop anyway because my hair was acting really weird. It was getting really stringy. I assumed it was from having COVID twice. Other people have other assumptions. I don't really care. We're doing our thing. One thing about me, I ain't afraid to do things to my hair. I've been blondish. I've been red. I big chopped like three times. My hair is gonna grow back, whatever. So now that I've gotten all that out of the way because I know y'all are ready to type. I know, I know I've seen it. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at what's under here. Are y'all ready? All right, girl, am I ready? I don't know, let's see. I know, I know, y'all see. Isn't she cute back there? The mullet, Oh, that's cute. That is very cute. Let's not get too, oh, what? Wait, my hair, whoa. Okay, wait, let's not get too excited. Let's look at the front. Okay, now let's be for real now. That's not giving. But the reason why I'm so shocked is because, oh, look at my little cuties back here. Oh, y'all are cute. All right, hey y'all, this is editing Jess really quick. So I'm watching this back and I'm like, you guys are probably gonna think I'm so like, girl, is this not the hair on your head? Have you not seen your curls since you cut your hair? But this is why I'm so shocked because ever since I cut my hair into a bob, like the past few times that I have washed my hair, I'd, I'd just air dry it with a towel. And when you towel dry your hair, when you take it out, it's frizzy again, so you can't really see what the curls look like. As you can see in this video, I had a plastic bag on my head and I was deep conditioning for like five hours. So when I took the bag off, like the conditioner in my head like really defined my curls. But the past few times I've washed my hair since I cut it, I would automatically just put a t-shirt on over my head to towel dry it so I can blow dry it and straighten it or I just put it right back into a bun so I haven't really been able to see my curls like for real since I cut my hair. I just thought I'd let you guys know that because I'm like you are why are you so excited but I just really haven't seen them in that form or in that state since I chopped my hair. Back to the video. All right so I'm gonna rinse my hair out really quick. <laughs> yeah she's impressed. Wow. So I'm gonna rinse my hair out really quick and then we're gonna do a wash and go today to see the status of my curly, naturally curly hair. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I just rinsed my hair out and I honestly, I'm really surprised that my hair, one, it just looks so, oh, I got some product left in there. Let me show you the front of my hair. The front of my hair, it has always been the problem, but especially now that I'm straightening it the most. The front said, mm -mm. <laughs> no. Very small hope to be had. I can already see like my new growth coming in. It's obviously a different texture. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, wait, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do like um, one of these joints. I don't know, let's start with the back. Start with the back, I wanna put the front up really quick. So I'm gonna use a little bit of leave-in, this is from Cantu. Um, I've never been super particular with my leave-ins because I don't know, I feel like they all just kinda do the job they were sent to do. So we're gonna get some leave-in. But yeah, I prefer cream leave-ins over like the spritz watery leave-ins just because I feel like my hair takes 
hidden better. So already the back of my hair is making me quiver. <laughs> all right, so how we looking so far? Too soon to tell? Too soon to tell, it's all right. Don't hit me up. I'm gonna put some water back over it. Keep that moisture in there. Okay, I do see a piece that is giving heat damage. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect, all right. So, if you know me, you already know what products I'm going in with. I'll give you a second to get a quick guess. Holy grail for the wash and go, at least for me, okay? Ooh. So I'm just gonna take some of the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. Oh, if you didn't know what it was, it's the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. Been my girl since day one. Never failed me, ever. I'm going in with the Eco Styler Gel now. Y'all, I, I literally have not done a wash and go in like, oh my God, I don't even know how long. A very, at least six months, maybe more. It's crazy. What did I used to do again with that? Like, let's do it right now. I would just go in pieces. Y'all, look at sis. It's like she never left. Okay, girl. All right, it's a little thicker over here, so we gotta do smaller sections. But I definitely have heat damage in the front. 100%, I'm not gonna be like, oh, but it's not damn. It looks heat damaged to me. <laughs> I don't care. It, like, it literally does not hurt my feelings if someone's like, hey, your hair is heat damaged. I'm like, oh yeah, I know, I'm about to go straighten it tomorrow too. You know, like, I don't care. Like, it really, I don't know. I feel like girls think that it's like a, a diss. Like, girl, yeah, for sure. And I'm on my way to the salon to get the silk press. It's okay, we can all get along. We all get along. I hope it's focused, I can't see. Is it focused on my hair? I really can't see, but my hair is looking pretty decent right now. All right, I'm gonna go and do the rest of the back and then I'll come back to show you guys. I just can't believe it. All right, guys, so here's the back of my hair. I can't really see from the sides it looks good. There are some, some parts like this piece right here. This piece right here is giving 3B and that's not my natural hair texture. I'm not even gonna try to claim that I have 3B in my hair because I don't. So, uh, you know, some pieces are giving loose, but no big deal, but I can't really see too much more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little scruncheroo to match the rest of the boys and girls. But something that I will say is that my hair looks cute right now. Like, oh, cute little length and stuff. But when this dries, it's literally gonna be like up to my ear. So if people are gonna be like, oh, why don't you wear out your, your hair? It's really short right now. So let's talk about the front of my hair. Hmm? <laughs> now the front doesn't stand a chance. I am going to humor you guys and um, curl or like put some, actually I'm humoring myself too because I want to see what it looks like. I'm not expecting anything. So, like I said, re reduce those expectations to zero. Or any number lower than zero would be fine by me. But I'm gonna play with it anyways. Brush this out. Should I even waste um, leave-in conditioner on this? You guys. <laughs> Y'all, don't be mean to me in the comments. <laughs> don't be mean. The new growth coming in. But I'm not even going to like even bank on my new growth because like I said, I'm still planning on straightening my hair for the next, I don't even know how long, maybe a year, six months to a year. So um, even though my new growth is coming in strong, it's just gonna end up like the rest of my hair because I'm gonna keep straightening it. So I'm going in for some reinforcements. So just give me one second. We know her, we love her, this brush. I've been seeing some tricks on the tickety talkity and I'm gonna try it out to see what it does. So you're supposed to like start at the bottom, not the police. Ooh. How did that girl do this? So she like did that and then was like going like this. I think I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, I'm going, I'm an idiot. It's this way. <laughs> she did something like this, right? And then this. Oh, so it was this. So first some heat damage, I would say it's not so bad. I'm gonna let it sit there. It's cute, but no. Like, 
I would really have to be putting on my best show for this to work, but it's already such a different curl pattern than the curls that I have in the back that I'm not even going to embarrass myself any further. So I'm gonna do my OG hairstyle that I used to do a lot back in the good old days. So I'm going to, hold on, let me just, let me just see something. Okay. Well, I saw what I needed to see. <laughs> We're done. Child, I'm a walking TikTok. Help me, Lord. So I'm gonna split this. So it looks like I'm gonna have some more hair to curl up there. So I'm gonna do that first, but I'm just gonna section off the part that I'm going to be twisting. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would just like twist the two parts of my hair and like twist them back. So that's my little go-to hairstyle and that's something cute I can do. Or you, if you're a heat damaged shawty like me or a heat trained, my bad, no disrespect. Heat trained shawty like me then. Oh, my brother-in-law texting me, hold on. Family first. Split this side as well. Be really careful with this side because the last lady who did my hair for my friend's wedding, although she did a really, really good job, she kept forgetting I had an earring back here and my God. The amount of times, the comb, oh, the amount of times I comb and my earring connected. I don't know what's up with these little piercings, but it's like they never heal. It's been a year and six months since I got this and it still hurts. All right, let's just do the top. I feel like I'm noticing a pattern, like the higher up I'm going, the worse my curls are getting. Oh man, I'm nervous about the front. Wait, this part is not, <laughs> this part is not really doing anything. So I'm gonna um, finger coil these ones up here cause mm, these ones up here look like they need some assistance and I'm here to assist. I am here to assist. I'm trying to remember what this part of my hair looked like before I started straightening it. Come on baby, work with me now. Don't work against me. Work with me. We're a family. Like a giant tree. We are a family. Like a giant tree. Reaching up to the sky. I think so I'm gonna scrunch it and give it some assistance. Oh no, this does not look good. Y'all remember in high school when our hair was fried and we used to do this with my literally relaxed straight hair? It's really embarrassing. No, that was middle school actually, but Middle school boy, I used to put gel in my hair and scrunch it and my hair was literally relaxed. Whole time I had the hair that I was trying to achieve and I just didn't know it. Guys, uh, it's giving helmet, okay. <laughs> okay, the reason why I feel like we can get away with this is because I'm about to twist the front and then move this back here. It's gonna be fine. Nope, we're okay. We're okay. Look, uh, the top part is damaged. Well, you tried to damage it. <laughs> you tried well, to do well. <sighs> the curly curl cream, she's doing her best. She is trying so hard. She really is putting in so much work right now. I know this cream is panting like, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, how'd this side turn out? Oh, strings. Girl, if this ain't a string bean, I don't know what it is, honey. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna twist up the front like I, like I said, I always do. Well, there she goes. I look like the old Jess again. Little Jess. Okay, so this is the back. I don't know what it looked like, but come closer. Here is the back of my hair, y'all. On a scale from one to 10, how heat damage is the back? Is it giving six, seven? It ain't no 10. Don't hate, don't hate. It's not a 10. So, y'all said y'all wanted to see my hair curly. There you go. How can I help you? Any other questions? <laughs> that's really, that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna lay this down a little cause the top looking funny. I don't like the top. Oh, uh, this really gives me 2021. No, like 2020 Jess when I big chopped and took the red hair off. Oh, this is so cute. Anyways, love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.